Okay, so where does this need to be? Just, there we go. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna make sure our audio is connected on the speaker. So just a sec. The way we put together Dairy Review was really exciting for me. Is is that speaker on, Sylvia? Is the speaker on that little speaker? No. Is it Bluetooth? Bluetooth. It made it sound power. No, it's speaker. There we go. So you can hear us okay? With the Elijah? Or yes, I can hear you. There we go. Perfect. Great. Okay. So then we can talk to that. He can see all of us up there. Perfect. So it works. Hello, Elijah. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. We have Carrie here with us too today. Hi, Elijah. Hi, Carrie. Is that it? Carrie, yeah. This is Carrie right here. All right. Pleased to meet you. I don't think he can hear us through that. We only hear him. I, can, you hear me? can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, we There's can hear Mike. Here, so you're okay. Perfect. Okay. So, do you guys want me to start? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Elijah, we've had this experience yesterday, and Christy and I both. This morning said, holy shit, were we tired last night and we got home. And I said, I remember you, Elijah, through the years saying that it really does hit you at a level that people don't even understand how powerful this stuff really is. Because we're looking at us in a four-dimensional way. So with this map, the shared knowledge community, what we would like clarity on is every single one of the points, starting at 3.09, and the mediators and what does that look like and who what kind of people are they or what kind of product fits into there okay 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 so let's back up a little bit um so we want clarity of that but what we also did and i don't know can you see any sheets behind us back You'd there yeah okay yeah so what we did is we did a bit of brainstorming because we're what we're trying to do is we have this wonderful awareness map. That's what the hub factor map, this map here on the table that people have gone through. So what are the next steps that we can actually tangibly bring people into? So connect with them and say, what are our offerings? So we're trying to make a connection with this map that you talked about okay. and the services we offer is it is there connections because we want to be consistent in our terminology and, and we just want to understand that and so i was looking at tech guru and i thought hey tech to a lot of people that that word scares a lot of people i get it because i like it the definition underneath it is a lot easier to resonate with so we that's kind of where we're at okay what was the thing that people had a problem with also, the word tech guru. Okay, tech guru. Okay. And like, and I was looking, and the other one, I thought, okay, originators. That word doesn't resonate with me. So, what is an originator? Was the question I asked. Okay. So, research team resonates with me. So, we're trying to figure out how do we take this map that we have here and tie it into what we're doing when we're talking about group coaching and facilitating other processes of skill sets we already have and workshops and events, how does that all tie in so we're not driving two ships at the same time? Okay. And maybe that's not what you were thinking and you just need to sit with that a bit and maybe you just want to explain these different things and how you see they could be utilized and we can leap off that. Okay. The first in terms of the originator, I consider myself, let's say, an originator, where an originator is someone who's coming in with something new, a new knowledge field, something that hasn't been done before. So it's it's all, another word to almost be like an inventor. That's what I thought. I, that's what I said. I said, I bet you that's where you would be if you had to pick one. And, and it's like looking at the originators like one originator might be able to fund the whole shared knowledge community in a certain community 
Like if somebody invents a certain light source or energy source or uh, whatever it may be, they're the person who's been sort of sitting in their house for 20 years working on one idea. They're not like everybody else. And, and so you have to sort of treat them uniquely because they're unique individuals. They're very focused. They're in, yeah. in the area of their choice. They're very far ahead of the game, but they need like translation. They need healing. They need the infrastructure. They, they need the business support of the shared knowledge community like I do. It's like I've got this vast amount of, of work that is very valuable, let's say, to the world, but I'm just by myself and I've got this 25 years of work that, you know, personally, I need a bit of a hand with. So the whole idea of the shared knowledge community in one sense is it's it's replacing the infrastructure of the corporation. It's it's taking the, the job that you get that's given to you as a result of the goals of the corporation into, no, it's based upon your gifts and what you want to do. So it's like, it's, it's creating basically the 3.2 and the 3.8, the marketing and the infrastructure for all the other jobs because people are coming in, like a healer is coming in, you know, they're very different from an originator, but they still need marketing and they still need infrastructure support. But the healer might be able to heal that originator in a certain way, but all of a sudden the originator gets past their biggest block and then all of a sudden the invention comes out and within the shared knowledge community, a percentage of all the products goes to the shared knowledge community to build the infrastructure and the marketing support. So it's it's like there's a sort of certain percentage of how the things are broken down at some point. And the artists and the originators are the two sort of groups that are sort of holding the key to building the products. Like you're coming from a point of view, let's say facilitation and coaching, where your product lines are individual coaching and facilitating groups. Now that's great for coaches and facilitators, and that's all you wanted to do. You know, that's that's one part, but the, the idea of the shared knowledge communities, you're bring together a very diverse group of independent contractors that ordinarily wouldn't come together. And we're looking at like the synergy of like some teams, they need one healer, one artist, one originator. Like the idea is when you've got this big pool, then people start making product teams. They start working together because there's a transparent accounting. The business systems are all created in place. And, you know, you guys might be sitting there and all of a sudden, hey, I got this great idea. And what might take six months to a year to put into practice, maybe you could do it in two weeks because you, you got the marker here. You got the thing here. You got this here. You got this here. You have one meeting and boom, you got the thing done. And that just doesn't exist right now. Right. OK, so I know you haven't you probably spent the most amount of time with Lori, but in your time that you spent with her, where would you see her on this map? I mean, definitely as a coach. Okay. I mean, I see you know, her main product is the, the discovery process and coaching people through that from the point of view of money, I would say. Okay. okay. And then what about Sylvia? Sylvia, I, I, I haven't spent enough time with, and I don't quite know the inner delvings of, of uh, what Sylvia wants to do. So I, I wouldn't say that I know. Um, I would, I could guess. I mean, I think with what you're doing with the media right now, I mean, that's, that's uh, going the pro probably the direction of what you want to do, probably some sort of teaching, but who knows? Okay. Do you have a guess for me? Um, I would you know, we give us that much time together. I'd say interfacing, I'd say marketing. Like, I, I think you're probably a natural coach, you're probably a natural facilitator, but I think from the energy I get from you, you're probably a, a natural marketer. Okay. I'm just, I'm a very visual person, so when I hear something for it to stick, if I can take an example of something, and I know this is a new way of thinking and looking at things. And I understand the concept behind you would have all these people, but right now we don't necessarily have those people. So how do you, yeah, in the hub, like we might know them. So what I'm trying to think is how would you know to identify those things in somebody or how do you figure that out? Because if we're truly talking about creating a space where we can just get stuff off the ground because you have access to these 12, nine, 12 areas, the nine areas, 12 areas that you need, and they're all in one place, how do you identify that? And 
how do you know? Like, that's where I'm a little bit stuck, so to speak, because this is new. And so I don't, I don't know necessarily how to pick up on that. Or maybe they want to develop that. Like, that's where I'm a little lost. Okay. Well, I mean, let's, let's look at something easy where um, the idea first is getting them into a mastermind, is getting them to sit around the table and just getting them to answer individual questions, right? You're, you're not asking too much. You're just giving them a next step of bringing them in the door. So to me, two very easy ones would be entrepreneurs and the healers and probably the artists because they all need each other. Entrepreneurs, you know, they're probably, they might do business together, but they're usually independent by themselves at the beginning. And so to be on a mastermind team would be very useful for them. Healers are the same. They, they probably work alone. And so you're creating these mastermind groups where you're just starting the idea of group intelligence. I mean, if you saw what happened yesterday, I mean, that can happen with anyone, right? You just sit there week after week. You might create like an eight-week program at the beginning. They, they you know, you could charge... I think 20 to $50 per session per person and, and just repeat what you did. Yes. Like keep something very simple at the beginning. You don't have to come up with like the mass, like the great plan I got all along. You just have to sort of master the simplest process. Like this, what you're doing does not exist on the planet anywhere else. So you've got an edge and, and it works like having a question answer that's very important to you and having the, the feeling of connection in a group is, is like those two things alone by themselves are worth their weight in gold. So, okay. So what would you foresee? Like, I know you mentioned to us in our debrief to, to take the nine groups and split them into three. So, you know, and you broke it down for us into the mediator, coach, healer, like that. You talked about that. Um, and maybe I don't need to think about this, but I'm really thinking, okay, what's next? Because I'm looking for sustainability and something that we can all invest our time in because our goal is to just be doing this. But there's a financial component to it for a lot of us that we need to have something. And, and something that kind of came up is we're talking a lot of intangible. So how like how do you make that happen or what's our next step so we're doing this process what where would we bring people into so that you could generate some income and take them further it's kind of what i'm trying to think about because it's great doing this but if we don't have a way for them to connect into something else then they almost get lost okay well i mean first like getting 12 teams going i mean if you're thinking past that point i mean that's still pretty good but I mean, first I would ask you, okay, how much does everyone want to make per month? How many hours do you want to do you want to work? And if you, and if you had to choose right now, you know, what do you want to do? Like, I mean, looking at someone just came in, um, like Lori, like I know Lori wants to do the discovery process. So to me, it would be like, okay, well, how many one-on-one -on -one sessions do you want? How many coaching sessions? Because I'm sure you can all do coaching with people, right? So how many coaching sessions? How much are you charging? How many hours as an ideal first? And then look at your yeah. teamwork or your group work and go, okay, well, how many groups or teams do I want to facilitate? I mean, at the beginning, you can facilitate them together. You could do it in twos or threes, but you know, the money is going to be hard to split. But I mean, if you can make, the aim is to make 100 an hour, I think, as a minimum. And so to design around making at least 100 an hour. Because um, if you have 10 people and you charge $10 an hour, that's 100 bucks an hour right there. Uh, at some point, you want to be giving a percentage back to the space. Um, you might want to do that at the beginning or, I mean, essentially. And that's kind of where we're looking at starting is a yeah, percentage goes back to the space and then as it builds. So how would you have that conversation? I'm curious for you. So we've done this process that you've observed with people. We, we've kind of worked out, okay, you know what? I'm available 25 hours a week for this process being three hours with, you know, this mapping process, let's say, you know, it could be individual coaching or group coaching. So, so what do you, how do you get there next? How do you, would you just say, you know what, I'm starting a group on this topic that kind of came up. It seems like you are looking to make a career change and, and, and do that. So we're going to do some group coaching. It's four weeks every Tuesday for an hour and it's 10 bucks a week. 
or like I, I, I maybe we, I, I'm very practical, so I'm trying to flesh that out and pick your brain on it. So I'm, I'm just curious if that's how you would see it. I, I just am missing that connection. Okay, well, I, I think I just told you, but um, you're basically mapping out your ideal lunar schedule. You're looking at, you know, if you had everything that you wanted and you went, okay, I'm working Tuesdays from three to five and I'm making $200. I'm, I'm I map out the time that you want to work and map out how much you want to make and map out ideally what you would want to do. I get that. But how do you get people from this process to connect in with you is my question. I okay, understand okay. That makes okay, that's different because, okay, like once you've set up your ideal schedule and, and let's say you've gone, okay, I'm going to do the entrepreneur group. I'm going to do the artist group. I'm going to do 10 hours of one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I'm going to put another four hours into admin and stuff like that. So I'm getting paid for the two groups and the coaching and I'm doing four hours of, of operations because the difference between operations and services Services is direct connection to the customer. Operations is just what you got to do in the background, which you're not getting paid, right? So each of you is dedicating a certain amount of time for, for the, that ideal schedule that's either paid or unpaid. Once you set up the time schedule, like let's say you go Tuesdays at 10 o'clock, entrepreneurs, it's going to cost $20. Then you need an intro video. You need like a, a one page or descri description. You need something on the website that's saying what it is and, you know, basic marketing materials. Right. And then you got to figure out like for the entrepreneurs, where are the entrepreneurs? Like I would say like there's, you should have a launch event at some point, probably you need probably what a month or so to sort of get ready for it, but you should do a big launch and have by that time, You've, you've got the setup of your schedule. You've got your setup of your marketing materials. You know exactly what you want and you know what you're going to offer. And that's going to be on your website. Each thing probably needs a promo video and the description, right? So for me, like it's, I mean, I could spend some time with each of you individually and really focus on each, on each of you because it's, it's a little bit difficult like this because I get sort of downloads about people when I'm with them one-on-one. -on -one. And then I just like to put people on the spot. So I thought I'd put you on the spot too. Okay, how did I do? <laughs> you did good. <laughs> you, did, you did awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so do we want to keep getting a little explanation yeah. of the others? Yeah. Okay, so, as so we digress. We started with one the originator, and that's exactly what Christy said. It seems like Elijah would fit in there as an inventor. Yeah. That was cool. Okay. And yeah, it's great, like to find like like the 12 people, like at some point during your launch, you're gonna wanna sort of like pitch the idea and on the wall you'll have the spaces for 144 people. Like you're, you're pitching the idea of creating a new type of organizational structure. And that if you're part of this 144 people, you are like lucky, you are part of this pioneering group of people that are gonna change the world. So the originators, but I'm sure, you know, you want to find like in Yorkton, you know, the, I bet you there's 20, 25 people that have invented something or that have spent 40 years, you know, studying herbalism or they've written a book or like they've got something that's unique. And that's something which you want to use your, you know, networking skills. You want to use, you know, start talking to all the, <coughs> the people that sort of, I don't know where, where they'd hang out, coffee shops usually. <laughs> Anyone? Rather than us just randomly inviting people, we consciously go to each of these categories and we start listing who fits there. Exactly. I mean, like healers, you're going to have 50, 60 people in your area alone, right? Um, artists, like find, there's probably an association of artists that has every artist in town. Uh, the planetary guardians, that's more like a kid's thing. That's more of people who want to save the world. Like that's more, that's more like the youth, the 20, 20 year olds. I can give you, and that's more media. That's like creating media, creating a, a news station. It's, it's like, essentially, you, you might want to start also listing, like, what are the fun topics? Like, 
And and how much do you want to youth programs like after school between like three thirty and five thirty or something like that? You might have youth programs. Uh, so I mean, I don't know if you want your space to be a hangout place for youth, but at some point, I think it'd be a great idea. Um. Okay, so then. Taekwondo makes because they pick the kids up from school and they bring them to the location yeah, they and they're only there till six, and they make a fortune. I, you see, I, honestly, like if someone wants to do that, that's great. That I have, yeah. I have no interest. No. I, I would sooner have a mentorship program with yeah. you that yeah. empowers them to become that, and you, you meet with them and do it in that capacity. Um, and they could come do it to do it a skill. Okay, so, so that was that could be. And, and I think. The, I, and the people like whoever you're going to be bringing in you're going to be having teams but then you, you your main thing is your space and your use of your time and your schedule and you know what what is schedule when like all of you are going to choose sort of like your prime times each of you gets gets to choose i'm doing here 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 after that you're going to have all the empty space that nothing is there that is going to be open i would assume to be to be rented or used by the other people within the shared knowledge community as it grows. And there could be like, again, some of it, like you have one or two free events where people come in, try the table and everything else is booked. And, and, and membership, maybe if you have like a key, if you're a member, and I don't know if you have people coming in late at night to work, people like that, you can have uh, like 10 to 12 o'clock late night work, work time where people come with their laptop and just work together. And that stuff doesn't exist in small towns. And, you know, if they're part of the membership, that can be like, it's, it's again, I, I would think if you're a hub, vision hurt, you want, you want to sort of like have people attract to being there. Okay. Yeah. So which other one did you have? So we've got the monetary guardian. Illuminator. Illuminator. Okay. The illuminators are like another name for marketers. Okay. They're, they're the people like you could be, a, and it might be good to have one, like a graphic designer, an SEO person, um, uh, a database manager, uh, uh, a salesperson, a marketing manager, uh, an artist. Like, what are all the different sides of marketing that you need to put together to have? And then they are available again to every, if you had one graphic designer at 144 people, Believe me, you're gonna you're gonna have all your work cut out for you. Like there's gonna be a cross correlation. Yeah. So if I don't know, but I look at something like Fiverr, where you need a service to get your business out there, and they have everything from transcribers, all sorts of things. To me, Fiverr is similar, but people are getting paid for their work. It's a place you can go to get almost everything done in a digital format out to the world right so i kind of if i'm understanding this it's similar to that it's a place but it's membership and a community and stuff yeah i mean you're in a physical location uh you're more face to face with the people that are there um fiber is a great resource like anything online but but you know i'm thinking of an example of something that would be maybe similar okay is there any other ones here Probably the, the mediators. Yeah. Um, they're kind of like the, the hidden leaders. They're, I think they're kind of like, there could be a correlation with the nine on the Enneagram where mediator is, is somebody who, I mean, usually it's a mediator about agreements, right? It's about being able to solve conflict resolution. And I think if you got the reputation of being a place that solved conflict, because one thing about the divination, is anytime you use it to figure something out, someone can't use their, their normal agendas. They can't kind of like, the divination changes how you talk. And so if you're a facilitator mediator and you bring down a couple and you, and you use divination, it changes the ball game completely. And okay. I don't know if there's nine theaters in Norton, um, but you can also train mediators, right? I, I know a lady, her business is called Gentle Way Divorce. She was a divorce lawyer and she's not a lawyer anymore. And, and she lit, that's, I know her quite well and she's in Redona. And her business is so you get divorced in the most amicable way. And 
and how and because she has a legal background she tells you what you need and don't need so when you're talking about that mediator piece she's someone who would fit right in there because she does mediation that's what she does so we wouldn't look just in york and we would look use we would use this as a sketch yeah we wouldn't just use your yeah we'll yeah. find people yeah. all over the shop yeah for sure yeah look how easy it is you can bend too yeah we have to get set the technology yeah. up. That's yeah. easy, but you have to yeah. you just have to invest in the infrastructure so it, it's yeah. good. So each other one. Which is their straightforward tech guru fit where? Um that would be the uh oh tech oh, I'm asking oh. Elijah. Yeah. The tech guru, well how do we look at that, Elijah? Well, tech guru is there I mean it could be within any technical field, but obviously, you know, the online stuff is probably the, the, the best focus. Yeah like the person who can build the website, a programmer, uh, someone who knows different programming languages, like anyone who's involved in any type of software industry, uh, you get 12 tech gurus together. And believe me, like the power is really getting these people together because they, they will they, they will build things that you can't even imagine in their spare time just for the fun of it. Is that Nova? Nova is one. Nova is one, yeah. Um, then Entrepreneurs, I'm curious, like, obviously, I know the word, but how, what are you defining entrepreneur as? Well, obviously, they're, they're in their own business. Uh, they're usually kind of start, like, the beginning, the startups, like, the, the difference, I think, between the entrepreneur versus, like, the business person who's already created their own business and is running it versus the person who's just starting something out, right? Um, a lot of people have a lot of ideas, but they have nothing else. And so you bring in 12 people with ideas and then you've got, again, you've got the marketing team, you've got the tech gurus, like you can start to pull from the different team. Like there's going to be a different relationship between people that are inside the shared knowledge community versus outside. And within the community, you can do service trades, right? It's a lot easier for a healer to help a tech guru and a tech guru to help a healer if you're all in the same organization together. And so the idea is that you're not going to need as much money if you're exchanging services. So maybe like as people even come through this is to, to do an offer of a membership. And then this is what a membership looks like. That, I mean we can we can like that's yeah, just we a can thought. talk about it for sure. Like those people that left yesterday, like Wendy, she wants to be a member of something bigger than yeah. just being by herself as a yoga teacher. Wendy, you met Wendy yesterday? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's quarter two, guys. Any more questions, you guys? You too? What if you fit in more than one? Like, I see myself in three of those categories. How does that work? Like, do you stay as part of each of those teams, or do you lead one of those teams or all three? I, I think I think it's going to depend upon, as it grows, you might, you might want to sit on more than one team, but you'll kind of gravitate towards one of them as it gets more solidified. But I think definitely all of us are like three or four of them. Um, okay. I know I do a lot of marketing. I do a lot of coaching. I do a lot of facilitating. I'm a planetary guardian. Like I'm a tech guru in some sense. So, I mean, there are also kind of roles that each of us has within us. And then I think it depends upon, again, choice at some point of what team you want to be on. I mean, again, this is sort of like, like you're taking all these aspects of society that are normally sort of not put together and put them together in a new kind of form. And so the, at some point, the vision of really creating something new is, is going to be a big part of this. And as it develops, uh, like I'm, I will get more and more stimulated to create the missing pieces that, I mean, I've, again, I've got tons of them already, and it's just a matter of how to package them and put them together to help you out towards what you're doing, right? Cool. Okay. I, I have a cool. question for you guys, just a quick question. Um, yeah. if, you, if you weren't going to do anything, like if you weren't going to do anything with the new Paradigm Toolkit, what would you do to create revenue in that place? Good question. I'm all about the new Paradigm Toolkit. It's just to get it clarified with the rest yeah. of the team. But in this space, I'm just doing my notary and my commissioner stuff and renting out the space, which we haven't done because COVID isn't really allowing it. 
and then just small events where you charge, you know, 25 bucks a person doing a, a, life, or a, a life vision frame, you know, for one area of your life. But the reason we did that stuff, Elijah, was to bring, gravitate people into the space so they know there's something bigger here than just a class. Yeah. I mean, I, I would definitely, I think the mastermind team as, as, a, as the main sort of focus of the marketing message is like the hub process, the, uh, the hub factor is the process to create mastermind teams. And then on my end, I started thinking about, okay, how to, um, like, the, I, I would create a schedule, like one big piece is create a schedule on the wall, like that, that is going to be your ideal lunar cycle of four sets of seven days and put it on the wall. And then one, get your post-its and figure out these are the things we are going to do, where are they going to go? And then who's going to do, who's going to do what? So you need a big map on the wall that is going to be your map for the next you know, week or so to really figure out, to design from an ideal point of view, where you're going to go, and who's going to do what. Because I think you're going to find once you get, it's going to be a lot easier to fill those teams than you think. Yeah, I think you're right. Like the, the healers are going to, the healers will jump at it. it. Sorry? What's that map we put on the wall? Is that that lunar cycle map? Yeah, like you, you, I'll, uh, I mean, I have, it's basically, wait, just wait a second here. The weekly calendar, and each week we go through it and we say, okay, what are we focused on? What do we want to see in this week and who's doing what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you seen his lunar cycle map? No, I haven't. Can you see? No, but okay. that's what I was doing. I can't. Oh, no, it's it's, it's, you have to get rid of the first of Yeah, I, I will send it to you. And it's it's a really nice to print out on 11 by 17. It has the Mayan calendar. It has the moons. It has a seven-step process. It doesn't have that. We could add it in. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's there. It's there. something that I just picked up that you could work mm -hmm. on. Like, it's, it's, it's just a blank template that you could fill in. To give you that same kind of idea as a place to start. Yeah. I mean, essentially, you want four of those on your wall. I would suggest like big ones. And then yeah. I wish I was there to make those for you. That's uh... okay. Cool. We'll do the whole yoga studio up there. We've got another space to get so much room in space. Like, so do you guys think it's a good idea to set up those 12 teams of 12? Like, is that one of your first goals kind of thing? We, were, we weren't we were real clear. So we had more of the calendar events, weekly, monthly, for, yearly. For revenue. Like, we're looking at a revenue and yeah. an income stream right off the bat. Right. Yeah. And we, we didn't know how your map of 12 set fit in would fit into that weekly, monthly, yearly calendar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you understand now or you're still unclear? I think we need to talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but you just, cause we've, we've pulled out a lot of different things. So really what I see is we can utilize these things, but we are at a point where we have to make a decision about what the purpose of this space is because you will utilize the same tools, but if you're focused on going towards creating this, mm -hmm. then the way we structure that is a little bit different than having just a space where people right. come into. Right. So I think we just need to decide for ourselves, mm -hmm. is this what we're doing? Mm -hmm. So then we structure things around it and we start saying, yeah, okay, I'm gonna take on this and leave this, and we just do that. Mm -hmm. I think. That's where I'm feeling we're at. I don't know about you, lady. And then this could become the bigger picture with the smaller things we're doing. Because everything we're doing so far is just tiny. Yeah. yeah. There hasn't been anything big. Probably the yeah. biggest thing is there to be you yeah. when we get yeah. the new one going. Yeah. And that's going to be 12 well, people in the show. I mean, if, if I can add something here, I've watched Lori go through a number of different groups and a number of different things. And my attention goes towards my own work, right? And 
I find that most people, they don't have any idea of what Lori's done. They have no idea what this new paradigm toolkit is and they don't get buy-in and she doesn't get support. And then I lose interest and then it, it, it doesn't go anywhere over and over again. I've seen it four or five times. So like, this is the time I feel, okay, you got my attention. The timing is right. And, you know, Lori, Lori's my main connection here. You know, I've known her 10 years. I'm very loyal to Lori and I will back her up in what she's doing. But if the team doesn't and you, you're going to do other things, you know, that's, that's fine. But I, I believe this is a gold mine. That wasn't what I was saying. Because I felt very much every time we talk to you, this resonates and we go to this. But when we get up here, we're not, we're, we're devaluing is bringing this into reality. It is and it isn't though. When we're talking about a dare to be you mm -hmm. and we're mm -hmm. talking about a plant event and when we're talking about all these other Those are just things, revenue income. Too. They are. But to me, if this is what we're focused on, I'm, we're creating a, a community of like-minded people, getting people to come into it. We're, we're creating a community of people that can offer services to better your business and your life. So it's less about what we are doing individually yeah. to facilitate those events and more about creating a people to be in the process. Like that's how I interpret it. Not that you wouldn't utilize those things individually under your skill set of coaching and all that. And, and maybe I'm wrong. I just, I don't see the connection right now. And maybe you won't yet. Yeah. You, you, this is so new to you. It's not that I can see this and I can map mm -hmm. that out. If I, I'm missing the disconnect from this to this, because your attention goes to something different, mm -hmm. right? Like if I'm focused on like facilitating the process of opening a business and doing that, and I do it through the hub, it's very different than if I'm getting a group of entrepreneurs together and marketers together and saying, how can we have a mastermind of marketers and do that? Like to me, there's mm -hmm. two different things. You can still do both, mm -hmm. but your focus. For me, I know my focus can only. I'm one intentionally putting kind of energy into one thing. Can, can I show you guys something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think I sent this map to you. Um, can you see this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't I haven't seen seen Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can see this. Okay. If you look at the right, so we've got the tribe, allies, and customers. And that's the main distinction of relationships, right? And so when we're talking the tribe, that's the 144 people that are going to be members. Those are different from okay. allies and different from customers. And so okay. you're, when you're looking at who's walking in your door, at some point, you're making an assessment of who they are in relationship to you, right? And so this piece, I, this is, I was missing this piece because now that makes sense to me of how all this stuff fits. Okay. Can you send, can you send that to me, Sylvia? Yeah. Or oh, I don't have it. No, so no, can you send that to Sylvia? Yeah. And then she'll share it. But that's perfect. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, because that's what I was like, I missed. Now, doesn't that make sense? So people are coming in the front door yeah. and our way to bring them in, the fish line to get them hooked to come in is using the best, the hub factor. Yeah. From the hub factor, we see where these people yeah. want to fit in to become part of something bigger. Yeah. Yes. You got okay. It. okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited Whoa. now because I was just feel I was like there's a disconnect for me because mm -hmm. yeah. yeah okay she she felt we were doing too many different things and well, I didn't see how they connected I knew, yeah. and I knew that the little things that are happening over there are the picture to bring it to the bigger yeah okay yeah okay and we build a, a group of 144 as the, as almost like members you get 144 yeah. devoted people. Yeah. To the hub. Oh, yeah. you, in the province? Because yeah. we start with the province, for sure. So 144 in the province, how hard is that? So that's 144 in the tribe. Right. Right? Right. Yeah. You got her. And then people become customers and people become allies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so then that's a membership base. That would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
I mean, oh, I'm on it. like if you at some point, at some point, if if you because the number two hundred kept coming in, if, if people t- pay two hundred dollars a month, that's like two hundred eighty thousand dollars, right? That's 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 not bad for in terms of uh, of revenue coming in, and then for the two hundred, if they have they have their team, they have all of the things they have the use of the place but basically with that two hundred dollars the amount of value they're getting is is massive towards if they're all of a sudden they're making three to five thousand a month based upon the help they're getting you know 200 a month is nothing you mean by the calendar so because we're here we pick what days we want to be in right. here and then the right. membership can utilize it based on their needs yeah. yeah, that's why I thought you had three of us go up with a map to do a thing with your teachers. We don't need three of us. One of us do this. Yeah, so yeah. We don't do it in threes because yeah. then it's just costing right, but, the same people more money. Yeah. And, and so okay. and the, the big piece of this, and again, we can go one-on-one with this, is to really design your ideal job. Like, don't just look at how we're going to bring people in and, you know, think in the ideal right now and go, my ideal jobs, I'm coaching 10 hours a week. I'm facilitating, you know, the three teams and I'm doing, let's say, four to six hours in, in, in administration or whatever that is. And I'm making five, seven, three thousand a month. Create those parameters. Okay. okay, so can we, like, I think, Elijah, that's a good idea. Like, whoever wants to, yeah. why don't we each on our own do the ideal job with you with a coaching session? So everybody's aware of that, what that means, because we all want to bring that into here anyway yeah. as something. And, 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 then, then, and then what I teach you and show you, because I'm always using yeah. maps and the tools, then everything I teach and show you, you can then use with other people. So if you yeah. just spent $100 yeah. with me, had a one-hour session, you got a map, you could use that map for the rest of your life with 100 people and charge 100 an hour. So I, I'm, I think it's very leveraged high. In terms of if you just see that everything I'm offering is able to be repeated with anybody. Can we just book the time if we're interested right now before we get off? Because if I don't do it now, it's going to be an email back and forth. Yeah. So for me, I'm happy to do it. So, um, yeah, so am I. So just book a time to do it. How many can you do in a day? Um, yeah. Well, what might be good is to do it like once a week with each of you at a specific hour. And then yeah. it's kind of like it's like I'm coaching you and then you can coach others in the same sense. So you you, you choose a time during the week and day and I'll book you in. So are we doing this every week with you or is this one? I, I suggest. Well, no, I mean, I got a bit of work. I mean, it's going to take more than one. <laughs> but you'll okay, see so that how- what I'm doing with you. I'm just <laughs> asking you so I, I can keep 25 years in one in one hour. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I thought you could do. Is so it a four week? Sorry. Is it a four, one hour four week session? Yeah. Why so one hour four week session? Yeah. Same time for you yeah. every week for four weeks yeah. for one month. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So what's your what's your time? Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday? Uh, or are we doing it here so we can talk about it after? I, you can do it wherever you want. You can do. You can do. Oh, I know. You do uh, it wherever you want. Yeah, um, that's comfortable for you. I'm going to do mine from here because I'm close. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I know. You guys go first. I just have to think about okay. my schedule. Okay. okay. So I'm going to be out here on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So could I do mine Wednesday at noon? Yep. Okay. I'll do mine Wednesday morning. What time? Nine thirty. So that's that's noon your time, right? So it's eleven o'clock. Yeah. Lori. Eleven thirty. Yeah, eleven thirty. Yeah. Oh, well, they, okay. Just one minute. Yeah, eleven for you, Elijah. Twelve for me. Sylvia okay. wants nine thirty, which would be eight thirty for you. Are you good with that? Yeah. Just so these got the time. Yeah. Carrie, do you have anything in mind? Thursday at noon. Thursday. Perfect. Okay, Carrie, Thursday at noon, which will be 11 your time. Good job, lady. And me. This is the way I like to see, see things operate. And so then for me, 
I just, I'm thinking more about, okay, so if I'm going to be here Tuesday, we're doing this mapping session, and I'm already here on Wednesday. Can we do Friday? Okay, so Kirsty, you're not Thursday, you're Friday? Well, I can do Thursday. Uh, um, I can do, it would be better Thursday morning, any time, like, let me just look at my other. What if yeah. you just did it while you were here? You're yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday. So what about Tuesday afternoon then? Tuesday afternoon? Yeah. What time? What time? Um, so this would end. So what if we said like two o'clock on Tuesdays, one o'clock your time? So 12. Okay. So one to two on Tuesdays. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So then we have that and then we'll work through that process and it'll be four weeks. Okay, okay. okay. And Carrie, did you want to or? Carrie, yeah, Thursday at noon. Yeah. Awesome. Thursday at noon is Carrie. Okay. So, Sylvia, will you get him all of our, I know he's got all our emails, I don't think has yours, Carrie. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'd like to get you, yeah, Carrie. I'll send that. And it's by Zoom. He records it, so if you need to see it after, you can. Mm -hmm. And how much is it for? Is it it's one hundred, hour? It's hundred an hour. Okay, one hour, hundred bucks. Good. Perfect. This will be the best experience that you will go through mm -hmm. to awesome. really take this to a new yeah. level. Yeah. And I said, design your ideal job is an attractive thing to put out to people, sure. but it sure can take you in a lot of avenues when you wow. get there. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. And when you think of what we did yesterday and how many people want that, they're looking, they are looking for that. Yeah. And we so we're do. starting next week. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that starting next Wednesday? Yeah. Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. You're the first one. Yeah. Okay. So wait, just so, so Kirsty, it's one to two on Tuesday. Sylvie yeah. is Wednesday at nine thirty. Lori is eleven o'clock on Wednesday, and Carrie's Thursday at eleven o'clock. Is that right? My time. Yeah, your time. So 8.30 for Sylvia, your time, because she said yeah. 9.30. Yeah. Oh, 8.30, okay. Time, and he say my time. Uh, yep. He's saying his time. Okay. He does yeah. his know where not with it. Yeah. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, so excellent. Excellent. Oh, it's exciting. Thank you. And, yeah, it, and as good. you get questions, you can just send me questions in Facebook Messenger. That's the best. And I can, uh, anytime yeah. you just get questions, just send me a question. And, uh, you guys are on my high priority list. Okay. And you're going to send that map to me, and I'll share it with the girl. Or you can message it to us. Yeah, message us either or. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Oh, Elijah, thank you again. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> One more time.